Hey, hi there, Virgo. Welcome to your November 2020 weekly Psychic Tarot card prediction. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. These are general, not personal readings. You can find more information below, as well as a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom, and that can help you out with these kind of readings. You guys, Virgo, you have two Seven of Pentacles in your reading. I'll be giving you that meaning coming up. It's pretty special. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Seven of Pentacles. This is Saturn in Taurus, Earth energy. It's a need to be patient and wait for the fruit to ripen. It's sweeter that way. It's a pause during the development. It's having to take a break. And you're thinking back and looking at what you've already accomplished. Could be feeling some anxiety because you're feeling impatient. But you're aiming for the long-term growth and not those instant rewards. And your investments will pay off in the future. This is just a timeout card. You're not failing, but you are learning. You're questioning your standpoint and looking from a different perspective. It could be a difficult decision between security and risk. But it warns not to stop for long, because all those past efforts will only come to fruition through consistent effort. You're wondering if this will work and what you will get out of it, and you're planning your next move. You're being concerned. could be second-guessing your efforts. It's taking stock of your progress and learning from feedback. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. Now this is Mars in Virgo. You know, Mars is that planet of passion, excitement. Now, this is Earth energy self-sufficiency, self-reliance. There's had to be discipline. It's being accomplished in your goals and feeling secure. It's a great harvest. It's abundance. It's material well-being. It's enjoying a secure base. It's well-controlled thought and solitary enjoyment of the good life. It's love of your gardens and home. It's having your luxuries around you. And quality is important. It's harnessing self-discipline, and you will accomplish much by taming your instincts, just like the bird that she tamed on her arm. It's taking it easy and taking your time. You've been working towards a goal, and now you're going to be flourishing. You could even go on a holiday, or take a break to enjoy life and smell the roses. It's now the time to have freedom to be yourself. Maybe it's better than you expected. It's living an ordered life and not having to work so hard. It's being successful, prosperous, and efficient, independent, self-reliant, refined, disciplined. The Seven of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles is an increase in finances. This is a well-earned breakthrough. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. Number four of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Emperor. This can be an Aries, can also be in your chart, or someone else's that you're dealing with, but this is in the position of your attitude, so this would be you being in control, using authority, your willpower. This is leadership and mental activity and domination, authority. It's order and structure and stability. It's exercising power wisely with structure and control. This is love through healthy boundaries. It's power and protection and realization. This is a great person. This is a beneficent ruler. It's a protective male force like a father. This can be a father figure. This is a solid leader. They're a natural-born leader, and they have the right to rule. So look for issues related to authority. 
to realizing your goals or reaching out to begin, and you may be required to take charge. The Seven of Pentacles with the Emperor is trying not to be overly concerned with any disapproval or criticism you might get. This is a need, and you are controlling your impatience. Your fourth card, the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Oftentimes, future predictions can be a surprise, and this Knight of Wands is movement, action, it's passionate, can be a Sagittarius, Leo, or an Aries. This can be a change of residence, even a journey. It can be movement that is quick. It can be an adventure. This is someone that might be impatient, and they might find that managing their money is a challenge. It can also mean a change of residence, immigration, or a quick departure. Nights in a spread can also mean the coming or going of a matter. Now, knights are younger in spirit, if not age, than the king or queens, and they're less established in life. This person can be impulsive. They're full of eagerness and self-confidence, yet they don't always know where they're going yet, and without those concrete plans, they can burn out before they achieve their goals. They're raring to go, and they're always on a passionate mission, being in and out of the scene. And this can be a kickstart that spurs you on, this is some they may be riding towards an encounter. This can be messengers, this can be traveling. There's action involved, involved and being poised for action can be pursuit. can also be bringing good news concerning work or social activities. This Knights are driven by a passion for a cause. Passion is the cause for the Knight of Wands. But there's a lesson that he needs to learn before he can reach maturity. He must temper his appetites with restraint. And this is the, the discipline, is that what is separates the journeyman from the masters. The Seven of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands is trying not to rush in too hastily, but do not back out either. It's being patient, but do not rush in half-baked. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others. Yet you are consciously aware of this. This is you, Virgo, the king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. This represents security. This Taurus... Bull's head is a symbol of Taurus, is a sign of wealth. This can be a mature man, an investor, a benefactor. They're solid and dependable, and they're kind to others. They have a lot of ambition. It could be you or someone around you that aspires to great wealth, even a father or a boss. This is someone that's very clever in business matters, like a financial wizard. And they're not corrupt. They earn money through hard and patient effort. And they're generous with what they have, and they share gladly. And there's a lesson to be content with what you have, and express your needs and undertake what is necessary for their fulfillment. And this can be something tangible that's completing. It's the fulfillment of desires and the power to manifest. It's attracting wealth, even enjoying retirement. It can be giving to charity and indulging in the finer things of life and maintaining a profitable business. The Seven of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles is gains with investments. It's prosperity and perseverance. The Nine of Pentacles with the Emperor is controlling your own money and how you spend your time. This person has a strong personality. It can be self-employment. It could also be spending money on stability and comfort. The Nine of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands is an exciting lifestyle change. It can be an adventure, a holiday. The Nine of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles represents security. It's being able to afford the finer things in life. 
The emperor with the knight of wands is restrained passion, its controlling impulses to be a playboy, its realistic planning that's needed. The emperor with the king of pentacles is keeping your position and considering your strengths and weaknesses with a superior. The Knight of Wands with the King of Pentacles can represent a house move. It's following your passion. This can be a finance man. They can help you usher in success. It's related to stability and money. And do not give in to anxiety if you're not where you want to be. Here's your Vice Versa Tarot card from the deck by Lunia Weatherstone. This is your second Seven of Pentacles. And that's two sevens, which represent news. And the two seven of Pentacles is a test of your patience. It's this side. In a grim gray landscape, a gardener sits upon a stone and contemplates the tree before him. The tree is, small tree is bare except for seven golden pentacles. Sparse grasses fail to thrive at the tree's roots. The dry, rocky earth doesn't seem hospitable to fruitful growth. The gardener's attitude seems watchful or patient. The scene is quiet. Clouds and mist block the sun. When you get this sign in a reading, you may be waiting for results from an endeavor or hoping a situation will begin to thrive soon. Time will tell. But it's a good idea to have an alternate plan, just in case. There is an optimal time for growth in an enterprise, and if you miss that timing, there is nothing to do but wait for the seasons to, seasons to change and try again. Don't be caught unawares. Here's your Lover's Oracle card from the deck by Tony Carmine Slurino, and if you'd like to get your own card drawn for you, comment below. It's fun. This is Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Thanks, you guys, Virgo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.